Hey, hey friends, welcome to another video. Today, I think we're just gonna kind of have a little bit of a paint and chat. I wanted to do a painting that was nourishing for the soul and kind of give back to my roots in a way, which is to say something kind of weird, something with a little bit of a fantasy twist, something with some brush strokes, all that good stuff. And I don't even remember what I saw, but I was quickly scrolling through Instagram at one point, which is not something I do much of, but I stumbled across something and it just sparked this idea. I wish I remembered which post I had actually seen because I don't even remember if it was actually related to this, but it sparked a little thing in my head that said, hey, you know what? You should paint a raven with a galaxy today. So I did. And it was so much fun. It was hard. You're gonna see painting a galaxy is not something that is easily done. Um, and especially if I've never really painted one before. So yeah, that's what I decided to do. So I whipped out my oil paints and kind of just did some sketching to find a pose for a raven that worked really nicely with this. I wanted to focus on those big, beautiful, kind of iridescent black wings. I think that would pair really nicely with something cool like a galaxy. You get some really cool tones in there, lots of blues and just all sorts of good stuff. And I kind of settled on this pose here where you see a lot of the wings. And then my plan was in the wing that is gonna be furthest away from us as the viewer, it's gonna be kind of holding another world. So a little window into some cool galaxy with some, you know, nebular patterns, some fun colors, blues, pinks, that sort of stuff, and some stars. And yeah, I've never really painted anything quite like this before. A lot of fun, definitely challenging, but challenges are great. They help you learn and one of the things that I'm trying to do with my artwork is find more joy in it. Um, a couple videos ago, I talked about how I found myself losing my love of art. Um, and I think I was just basically treating it too much like a job. And it is my job. So, you know, it's a little understandable why I was treating it like a job, but it's also a gift and something that I was kind of losing sight of and that really made me sad. And I found that lack of creativity was leading into a lot of other emotional struggles in my life. So I kind of made that connection. I was like, oh, okay. Art and creativity brings you a lot of joy and you're not doing that. <laughs> you know, maybe this is something that we can look at. So this kind of falls into that category of artwork to make myself happy again and it worked this was super fun and i honestly really want to start getting into you know mix matching different things like this so you've got the realism of animals that i've always loved creating art of but when i was younger and i would create a lot of fantasy based artwork and i really really miss that and I adore fantasy myself. It's my favorite book genre to read. I love everything about fantasy. Um, so I think that's gonna be one of my focuses for the rest of the year is to bring more of these fantasy elements into my artwork, bring more weird stuff, you know, kind of push the envelope as to what is accepted. I'm using <laughs> air quotes here because who cares what's accepted? You can make it yourself and, you know, don't let anyone else hold you back. So that's a little bit of what's gonna be going on here in the next year. So one of the things I kind of wanted to focus in on this painting is, well, two main things. Having some really fun brush strokes, which you'll kind of see as I move along, I took a couple of my older brushes and beat them up a little more so they gave me more texture um, and let some of those crazy brush strokes flow in there. And the other thing is ultimately contrast. So the relationship between light and dark. 
And because I was painting something that is so dark, you know, ravens are blackbirds and galaxies and nebulas are ultimately the night sky. Yes, you'll get some really cool light patterns in there, but overall they're pretty dark. Um, so I wanted to further play with that contrast, which is why I decided to go with such a bright background. I started off my painting by having a wash of brown acrylic paint. Acrylics just dry so much faster. So that's why I like to do my base layer with acrylics. And it just kind of gave me a little bit more of a medium tone to work with. And then I added some rough brush strokes of like a pale gray and white. And I love the way that works against this really smoky sort of look for the bird. Um, I think it contrasts really nicely and it almost kind of further adds to that ethereal look that I was going to, like going towards. So I'm really happy about that choice there. And there was just something really satisfying about laying down just thick, creamy white paint and seeing that contrast really bloom in front of my eyes. That was a lot of fun. So here you can see me using that beat up brush that I was talking about before. I was trying to get some interesting brush strokes here to give it almost a little bit of like a smoky vibe. I don't know if I really achieved the smoky vibe, but I like the way it looks anyways. So yeah, it was a little fun. I do feel kind of bad for that brush because I took a brush that was already really rough and beat up and I literally pulled the bristles apart in my hands, trying to splay it, beating it up even more. But I think I'm gonna use it a lot. It's a lot of fun. One thing I wanted to do here is carefully place down details so that it wasn't overwhelming the entire painting. Um, because I put so much emphasis on just rough brush strokes here, I didn't want to obscure all of that. So here, all I'm really doing is placing some final details in a few strategic areas. Um, so here is going to be like the front of the wing. And then the rest of it is going to kind of be a little more impressionistic. I want the eye to basically go to the galaxy and that front part of the wing. And from there, the eye will travel to other areas. So I'm going really easy on the detail here for the most part and just letting those brush strokes speak for itself. So what do you think? Should I delve more into this realm of painting weird stuff? I will always paint animals. They are my true love when it comes to creating artwork, anything animals, but I love having that little element of weird. So let me know in the comments if you think that I should keep pushing this and, you know, have more fun with things. And hey, if you've got a suggestion for a sort of animal weirdness mashup that you want to see, leave me a comment. I want to see what you think. And just putting in a couple last minute little stars here to finish it off. And we are done. Ultimately, I'm super happy with the way this turned out. It was so much fun. I can't wait to do something else like this. And yeah, I've got tons of other videos with cool paintings and where I talk about different art related things. So if you want to keep hearing about what it's like to be an artist and a full time artist, check out the rest of my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.